What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about what do guys think about when your fine ass is ignoring them, okay? Now, before we get started, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I'll love you forever, but not as much as I will love the women who click the bell notification. Just a little bit more, okay? I just like them a little bit more. Now, here's the thing, okay? Before, before I get into this, I want to touch on the type of men this will work on. Uh, work on. I'm, you're going to see what I mean by that. Um, and the timing. And I talk about the timing in several other videos, but it's important to talk about. Okay? So this ignoring thing isn't going to work on everyone. It's not going to automatically bring a guy back. It depends on the guy's... It depends on if the guy's trying to fill a void, right? Or how much he is in terms of the provider and satisfier, and, or how much that is... Uh, important to him, okay? Because the guy who doesn't give a shit about you, right? If you're ignoring him, you're just doing him a favor. The, the guy that's below a 51% on the interest level, okay? From one to 100. If he's below a 51%, he doesn't give a shit. He's not going to chase. You're doing him a favor. Now, the guy that's between a 52 and a 75, this will work on. And the guy, of course, from a 75, 76 to a 100, I wouldn't even do that to that guy, but it works, okay? Uh, it, it does and it doesn't. Again, I will get into that. So, here's the thing that guys think about, okay? The first thing is, again, this does not work for the first guy. This works for the last two guys. They think, I lost her. Not in a boo-hoo, oh no, 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 where are you going type of way, but in more of a selfish way, meaning... Um, he thought he had you and now you're gone. I wonder what the hell's going on. Okay. Um, and the, and the reason this works so much is because even if the guy isn't super gung ho about you, it's the fact that it's the unknown on why he lost you. You were showing interest and then you just started to ignore him or you were, you guys were good and then you just start to ignore him. Why? Right. Why is that work? Um, and again, if you want a, a good example of this or analogy, I guess if you flip it around and you, you know, if, if I ignore you, for example, the guy ignores the girl, I'm not going to chase you. I know why I'm ignoring you. It's justified. Like I know why I'm pulling away. I don't need clarity. I don't need closure. I know what's going on. You don't though. And for a lot of people that drives you effing crazy, you don't know where you're standing. You don't know why, you know, someone pulled away. Uh, and when you're a guy and you're a provider satisfier, you want to know, is it something I did? And when you're the one who pulls away, you're ending it on your note, on your foot, right? You're the one who ended it. So he has no clarity. And I, when I say ending it, I mean ignore. He has no clarity on why you're doing what you're doing. Again, pulling away and ignoring are two different things. You're not pulling away, you're ignoring. And when you're ignoring, I think it's more bitchy. It's more cold. Um, there has to be a reason for it, right? And the guy's wondering, well, what the hell did I do? And again, you might think this will not work on a lot of guys, but the way the brain works is we like having advantages and we like having variety, right? When you're scarce of food, there's a problem. When you're scarce of women, there's a problem. When you're scarce of resources, there's a problem. That's just how the brain works. You know, so when, when a, a woman pulls away, there has to be a reason why, and not only that, the guy's thinking, I did something wrong. He might think, I'm not providing or satisfying. Is there something wrong with me? I need to, and again, it's, it's the mystery that's going to drive him crazy. Is there something there that I don't know, or is there something there that I'm doing wrong? And maybe these things are pushing, are going to push other girls away, right? You, you need, the guy needs the clarity. Okay, so that's the number one thing. It's uh, we feel like we lost you, and it's the reason, and we're wondering why. And again, it's not so much boo hoo, but we're wondering what the hell happened. And of course, the guy is going to interact with you and reach out and, tr and try to find out in a very subtle way. He's not going to straight up say, "Hey, why are you ignoring me?" He might say, "Hey, what have you been?" Or you've been a little, you know, you've been a little quiet lately. Lol, st stuff like that. Now, the other thing is. 
he's going to think, well, maybe she's not as bad. Oh, well, she's not as bad as I thought she was. She's not as needy as I thought she was. Okay. And the reason for this is you're just ignoring. You're, you're pulling away as if you don't give a shit. And it's going to have the guy think, okay, maybe she wasn't needy. She was just interested because she's pulling away. Gunk, she, no holes bar, no warning. She just d does not give a shit. Okay. And you're pulling back. And I tell my clients all the time that there's nothing wrong with wanting a guy. There's nothing wrong with needing a guy. Oh, well, there is something wrong with needing a guy. But wanting a guy, texting a guy, seeing a guy, dating a guy, sex with a guy, that's normal behavior. That's just a desire, right? But it only becomes a red flag when it's obsessive, right? And, and let's just say even though you weren't acting a uh, you you weren't acting a fool, you weren't acting crazy or or obsessive or anything like that. A lot of guys might be sensitive to the subject still. Um, it has, it's what, even though you aren't, and I, I'll talk to clients that have like, hey, no, you're fine. You're fine. You didn't do anything wrong. And she's like, are you sure? I'm like, no, absolutely. You did nothing wrong. It's just this guy. He just got out of a relationship. He's had bad relationships. He's got cheated on. He's not looking for a relationship. He, you know, he's, he, he's had problems before with women doing this. And so he's, he's over since he's hypersensitive to the situation and might pull back. Right. But if, you know, as what I'm trying to say is, it's, it's not if you think you're being sensitive or not. It's what he thinks because you're looking for the outcome with him, and he, you you have or he has what you want. So when he pull, it, it, what matters is if he pulls away, okay, and what he thinks of the subject, um, because you desire him, you know. But if you're just not giving a shit, and if you're pulling back, and you're just like, hey, whatever, I'm doing me, um, he's gonna think, oh, maybe she's not, especially if it's without warning. She's not as bad as I thought she was, okay? And, of course, the second thing with this is I want to talk about regret a little bit. Um, when you pull back and a guy doesn't know why, he might get a little bit of regret. I regret, I, you know, because he's going to start playing through the, 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 the actions he's done throughout the days, weeks, months you guys were talking. You know, and he's and he's going to get in his own head, just like a lot of you do. Oh, I shouldn't have texted that, or maybe I should have worded it differently. Oh, I shouldn't have reached out to him. Women do this all the time. It's it's, my, uh, it's micromanaging, right? I say there's always a micro and there's a macro. A lot of women look at things that, you know, I should have said this instead, or I should have done that. Guys are going to do the same thing. And he's going to think, oh, I should have treated her better. I should have reached out more. Or maybe I should have said that. Or maybe I was too aggressive. And, and, and it's going to come down to regret. And regret is, if you can make someone regret something with you, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but it's a very powerful, it's a very powerful emotion. And it can get a lot of people to do a lot of crazy things. Because the thing with regret is it's a horrible outcome based on the decision that you made and there's no one to blame but you. That's why you regret it, right? So if you can make a guy feel that, and again, he might by you ignoring him because there's a reason you're ignoring him, but he doesn't have the clarity on why, um, it can be a very powerful thing. Okay, so those are the two things that a lot of guys think. Now, there could be a lot, again, there's a laundry, you know, there's a gro not laundry list, there's a grocery list of reasons why a woman pulls away that do go through a guy's head. Oh, she's bitchy. She's out with friends. Her phone died. She's not by her phone. She's working. She's working out. It could be a thousand, you know, she's just she's sleeping. It could be a thousand things, but when it's intense, right. And you guys had a foundation built, it's, you know, and it's not your normal behavior. He's going to think those first two things. Okay. Now with all that being said, here's the real deal. Should you actually ignore a guy? Um, I, I think, it it depends. I'm I'm more of a pull away person. And even when I say that, I don't like games. But ignoring is a cold behavior. Like I said earlier, it is a cold behavior. There's a reason you're you're, you're ignoring someone. And, and and when you're ignoring someone, the guy knows you're ignoring him. Okay. And it's and if it's with someone that you like, I think it's going to do two things. It's going to cause unnecessary drama. And it's going to leave you in a bad situation because you're the one who actually does. I always tell women, if you truly like a guy, you can't really negotiate a lot of things unless you're willing to walk away and mean it, right? I always Women always ask me, well, when's the right time to, to confront a guy about uh, a relationship and you know, give him that ultimatum, basically? And I said, I usually say the six to eight weeks, but do not, at the same time, I always say, disclaimer, do not do it if you cannot negotiate it and walk away. 
because a guy will call your bluff and then you will stick around. You know, a guy will say, well, here's the thing, hon. I, I like you a lot. I'm just not sure. I, I just know what I want right now. I just got out of, you know, I, I, I want to focus on my work. Just be patient. And women are going to, they have a like bias. So they're going to justify what he says and then be stuck, even though they negotiated something. He, he hit you. That's basically what he did was hit you with a counter offer and you went for it. So I always tell women, never negotiate it unless you're willing to walk away. So if he says that stuff, say, hey, you know what? I totally understand. You're a busy man, but I we've been doing this for two weeks, dude. I, I, you know, again, no hard feelings to you, no rush, but I'm going to go do me. If you change your mind, let me know. I'd like to date you. You know, something like that. And then you just, you just dip. So don't negotiate it unless you're willing to walk away, no matter what he says, because then you're going to look like a fool when you negotiate it and he gives you this buying time plan strategy. Oh, just give me a little more time or not yet. Let's just see where things go. Let's move a little fast. Let's just, you know, I'm not all that bullshit. And then you fall for it. Don't do that. Okay. But that, but that's what I'm trying to say. If you ignore a guy, you're, the sum of that was if you ignore the guy, it's end up going to biting you in the ass. Because you're the one who desires him. You're the one who has the outcome. So if you're trying to, the irony, uh, you know, if you're pulling away or ignoring a guy to get him to chase you um, and he calls your bluff on it, you're going to look like a fucking idiot. So don't take that chance. Okay. With that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below along with the bell notification and peace.